My name is Forensic, Eric JT Forensic, and I'm here to teach you how to draft. Today, I'm gonna to continue the series of the assembly drawing, the crane hook. And we're gonna talk about drawing the hook. Here's the front view and the right view. All the dimensions on here are the dimensions required to make this happen. If you have any other sheets of paper, they might have some dimensions that don't match 100%. Um, so follow these dimensions, please. I made small changes, really only small changes, this number here. Two and three quarters of an inch. Yours probably says four and three quarters of an inch. Um, the other thing is that this purple number really is not necessary if you're drawing this by hand. If you're drawing it using a computer, it is necessary, but it's so minute, 0.002628. It's really not going to make any difference when you're drawing it by hand. This drawing will be on a piece of paper, 24 inches by 18 inches. That's the large size paper. And we'll be doing it at a scale of metric 1 to 100. So if uh, this is the scale of metric 1 to 100, and this is a piece of paper 24 by 18, um, you can see it takes up basically the whole sheet of paper. You have a little bit of room down here for the title box. You could jam something else on here, the nut lock pin if you wanted to, but honestly, I think it looks good just by itself without anything else on the sheet. This sheet can have these other parts. This could be by itself the pulley, the side plate could be by itself, and then eventually the whole assembled drawing to, will be by itself. Um, if this is all foreign to you, um, and also the parts list. If this is all foreign to you, maybe you didn't see the first video, um, that will explain what we're doing here. But for this video, it's simply going to be about drawing this crane hook. So this, I drew it the other time. I'm going to erase that. To start, what you could do is just, you know, have, you're going to have a center line and put another center line. Where they cross, we're going to draw. We're going to draw an arc from that middle point right there, and it's going to have a radius of seven and a half. And then from that same center point, a radius of three and a half. So basically, it looks like a big donut at this point. Let's take this part of the donut away. So I trimmed it using AutoCAD, but you're going to erase it. From this main center point here, I'm going to go over 1.5 both directions. So I'm going to end up with 3. How long they are, how tall they are. How far they go down or up doesn't matter at this point but so far you got three quarters of a donut with these two lines coming off the top so i'm starting to form the top part of the hook right here from this center line from this red center line I'm going to measure up 17 and a half. Look at that. I almost hit it on the point. Okay. I'm going to clean it up. So from the middle here, straight up, 17 and a half. Then go down from that one quarter of an inch. That's this part right here, one quarter of an inch down. And then from the side, using your triangle, you're going to draw a line 45 degrees. So from this point right here, draw using your triangle 45 degrees and then erase those parts and mimic it on the other side. So 
So you get this chamfer at the top here. Next thing is coming down from the top, four and three quarters. Continue that over to there to there, and then draw a hidden line from this intersection right here, straight down, so you hit that. These represent threads, like a nut and bolt that have threads on it. Um, drawing it this way, you could just draw these dotted lines instead of basically, instead of basically drawing all lines on an angle, showing all the different threads. What I'm even doing here doesn't truly represent it either, but instead of showing all the threads, we could just show these dotted lines, which is fine. Next part is that I need to know eight inches down from the top here. So if I draw a line eight inches down from there, So that's basically how tall the top of this is. Then there's a part, the next, the width of this arc coming down here, this right here is four inches. So if I go from the center and I go over two inches on both ways, I'll end up with something centered four inches long. So this line, look in the dialog box here, it says four inches. I know you're drawing this by hand, but it's four inches. I could put a dimension on it as well. And it's perfectly centered. So the next step would be from the middle here, go over five and a half. At that end of that line, you want to come back with an arc, three and a half. So what you can do is erase that arc. So what does that mean? What did I just do? Well, if you were drawing this by hand, where I just put that circle is where your needle is going to be, needle of your compass. And you have a line that's three and a half inches long. So let's imagine that this pink line is how long you're spreading your compass. There's the needle and there's the lead at the end. And you're rotating it along here like such to draw your arc. So you don't know where it exactly stops or ends, but you draw enough of an arc. You, know, you draw enough of an arc, let me show you. Fill in that spot right there. So after you have that spot filled in, you can come back and do some erasing. So at the end of that four, the arc starts to come down and it hits that other arc. And you trim it like such. It doesn't come out perfectly perfect, but there's a little bit of a dent here. But honestly, it's going to come out very smooth looking. From that same center point, 7.5. I'm going to trim that from there to there, and clean up that, clean up that. So it started from this four line. We have a seven and a half this way, We've got three and a half this way. This is the three and a half. That's the seven and a half. 
and it goes into this seven and a half. And on the inside, it goes into this three and a half. You can erase this. I probably could have erased that before, but so far, this is all good right here. This next stop, next one is going to be an ellipse. The ellipse is six and a quarter over. So from the center line, go over 6.25. Six and a quarter. So what does that mean? That means that the next part of this wants to fit inside this box. How do I do that? What we could do is we can basically take your French curve and put something that fits into that. Using your French curve, make it as nice looking as possible. That really wasn't that the best. I'm not going to draw this <laughs> using a French curve, I'm using the computer, but you want to mimic that shape using a find your French curve that fits with inside that box to mimic this shape right here. Using a computer, I'm gonna use the ellipse command. There's the center, there's the bottom of my lips, and there's the side of my lips. So it generates this nice egg shape. I guess nice egg shape if you like eggs, okay? And actually this, this arc can keep on going for a minute here. So the same three and a half, I could have spun almost three quarters around. Next part is this thumb part right here. There's a lot of dimensions over here. It gets a little confusing, but it's honestly, it's not that crazy. I'm gonna measure down from the main center point. I'm gonna measure down one and 11 sixteenths. Measure down from that center, one and 11 sixteenths. And measure over from the side of this ellipse, measure over three and one eighth. So from the side of the ellipse, three and one eighth, down from the center, one, and 11 sixteenths, this is where your middle point is. From the middle point, we want to do a radius of six. So an arc with a radius of six. So now I'm going to trim this up a little bit. We don't need that much, so I'm going to leave it just hanging like that for now. I'm going to get rid of these. So there's the arc. There was the center point, which was 1 and 11 sixteenths from the top and 3 and 1 eighth from the side. And there's that arc so far. We're going to raise some of it. But that's a good start. Now from the side here over five. And we are going to stay right on this, this middle line. So the center point for the next one is right here. And we're going to come back with a radius of five. So what, what, look at that. It intersects over here. Erase part of it. End up with this pointy thumb shape right here. A little bit dangerous. Somebody's going to get hurt. So we want to curve it off. So how do we make it curved? Like right here. If you take out your green template and use the 
you find a circle radius of a half an inch. So that green template, and then you find the radius half inch, you can move that circle until you get it into a nice location. If we get into a nice looking location like that, what you could do is you can erase the top there and you can erase the bottom of the circle and you get something that looks like that. And it looks really good by hand. By computer, it's not so clean. The lines aren't coming perfectly together, but from the naked eye, it looks nice from a distance. Good from far, far from good. But I'm gonna show you a trick in AutoCAD, what you would do. You have, you're at this point right here. I went back in time. And then I'm gonna use the fillet option. Set my radius to 0.5. Pick this, pick this, and it curves it off nice and clean. And you can see there's no gaps. But that's using the computer, so don't sweat it. What I just showed you by hand, that's how you do it. We're in pretty good shape here. Something that you thought was so difficult you can never do. There you go. What do we need to do? We need to finish the side. Now the side has the same top part. The top right here is the same as this top part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy that over. But for you to regenerate this part, what do you need? You need to know that from here to here is eight inches. From here to here is three inches. The bottom is four inches. From the top to here to here is four and three quarters. I'm sorry, not four and three quarters, two and three quarters. So let me move that up two more inches. Okay, so that's basically all the numbers except for this one, the quarter inch. Now you're not gonna need to know all these numbers necessarily. I mean, the three and the four, yes. But guess what, where can I get the eight? I can project it. Where can I get the two and three quarters? Project it. Where can I get the quarter? Project it. So orthographic projection or just regular projection, don't worry. You wanna use that. I'm gonna start from the four, project lines down. Then I'm gonna project from the bottom of this hook right here, over from the top of the middle of the hook right here, over. Where that box is, where I'm gonna put a circle. And then I can trim off the bottom. get rid of this projection line and then I would have to dot out the top because the top of the circle is dotted so I want to make that a hidden line just like such then I want to project over from the top of this thumb part right here. Right here at the top of this thumb. Bring this over. Find the middle point. Now remember we did this circle was a half inch, half inch radius. So where I just located this spot, I want to go down a half an inch. That's my center point for drawing a half inch circle, half inch radius circle. So from the top of that thumb where I projected that over and then the middle of this object, and then I measured down a half an inch from that, that's where I drew that half inch radius. After I have that, all I wanna do is draw a line using straight edge, most likely my triangles, to draw lines that are just bouncing off the side of the circle. Now, again, I used the computer, and honestly, even by hand, that's not terrible. You, you wouldn't see it that close up. It doesn't look too bad. What you, to clean, to finish this up, you erase the tops, you erase the bottoms, 
and you might get something like that and it's not the greatest um again i'm using a computer it's not exactly the same as hand drafting a lot of it is i can teach a lot of the concepts but how would i do this by by a uh, computer if i just had located that circle the same way i just showed you before same thing then i would just use the line command this this is using a computer hold down shift right click tangent hold down shift right click tangent line hold down shift right click tangent hold down shift right click tangent what don't worry about it we you will get that one day i'll show you that um we're just with drawing by hand i just wanted to show up for a second all right the last part really is to get this opening right here so from the top move up 6.25 and then up another half an inch and then down the center so these are my two center marks so i'm going to draw circles of a diameter of 33 60 fourths now if you're scratching your head and you're saying how am i going to find 33 60 fourths you can round it off and what does it round off to half an inch 33 60 fourths it's about half of an inch you know that's fine by hand drafting you'd still label it 33 60 fourths but anybody that can measure that they're they're willing to tell you that they're that you're wrong <laughs> but nobody's gonna no it's honestly it's fine so now project over from the top and the bottom make them hidden lines erase them at here and here and without all the dimensions or center lines there's the hook so i hope that i showed you it wasn't that crazy it's tricky there's definitely some trickiness going on here but i think you're i know you're going to be able to do it and you're going to feel good um the final product i do want to see all this information all the dimensions all these these big green numbers of course everything's going to be black and white but i want to see the dimensions the green numbers even this ellipse coming through here all the the hidden lines all the center lines the titles front right and hook now the text for the numbers the dimensions will be one eighth of an inch tall where it says front and right that can be um one quarter of an inch tall and then hook can be a half inch tall and the numbers can be a half inch tall half inch quarter inch eighth of an inch half inch quarter of an inch eighth of an inch and it's going to fit all onto a piece of paper 24 by 18 at a scale of metric one to 100. this was a part of a whole series of drawings um i'm going to talk about the rest of the rest of the drawings coming up there was videos before this so please make sure you check all the videos to make sure you have all the information please hit subscribe if you haven't done so already please hit like if you like the video please hit dislike if you didn't like it and also leave comments anything that you want me to clarify any things that you did like or didn't like please tell me so i can know for future videos and look for the next video and thank you